What's going on my Elite Gamers? My name is Luigi Elite and today we have another Mario Kart Top 10 from yours truly. Last video we covered the Top 10 DK Tracks in Mario Kart and today the request was sent in by Sire Jones and that is the Top 10 Desert Tracks in Mario Kart. Thank you very much for the idea. So, here's a little thing about me. I don't really like desert levels in Mario games that much. It's not that I think they're bad, but most of them are usually pretty boring and don't have enough stuff in them to keep me interested. That being said, I do enjoy a fair share of desert-themed courses from the Mario Kart universe. While most of them aren't really major highlights from their respective games, a lot of them can be pretty fun and have just the right amount of depth to keep me engaged. So today, I'm going to rank all of these desert tracks. This list is going to be based on how fun the courses are and what makes them unique to one another. And remember, if you have an idea for a Mario Kart Top 10, let me know down in the comments so I might be able to turn it into a real video. So without further ado, let's -a go! At number 11, we have Yoshi Desert from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Like a lot of the tracks from Super Circuit, this course is pretty darn forgettable. Because it's on the Game Boy Advance, the track is very flat, and there's not a whole lot of stuff to watch out for aside from some sharp turns. Now, there are a couple of things thrown in to make the track more enjoyable, such as a few dash panels on the ground to make you speed up, some small ramps that let you take a quick shortcut in a few places, and there's even a few sand pits scattered around, and falling into them will cause a piranha plant to pop out and eat you. Also, I might as well mention that even though the track is very pixely, the sprite work looks really nice. I mean, come on, there's a Yoshi Sphinx in the background. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot more to say. It's not a bad track, but it gets bored really quickly, and there's not a whole lot to keep me interested. At number 10, we have Dry Dry Desert from Mario Kart Double Dash. While I think this track is objectively better than Yoshi Desert, this is definitely my least favorite track from Double Dash. This is the most desert feeling track I've ever played in Mario Kart. The road is very wavy and there's quite a few hazards on the road you need to watch out for. You of course have some giant pokies wandering around the track that have spikes all over them. There's also this giant sinkhole in the middle of the course and if you slide in, a giant piranha plant will pop out and eat you. Additionally, a huge tornado swirls around the track and runs Running into it will cause it to launch you high into the air, which is neat. Once again, there's not a whole lot more to say. This track is fine and there is some fun to be had when racing here, but it's still pretty dull and the few things that are unique to it aren't anything that keeps me engaged. At number 9, we have Calamari Desert from Mario Kart 64. This is one of the most relaxing tracks in the Mario Kart series. The track design for the most part is pretty flat and the road only waves up and down a few times throughout the course. However, because the track is pretty short and there's a lot of wide open space on the road and on the side of the road, it allows for a lot of action to happen in the middle and it can let you pull off some sneaky shortcuts. Then you've obviously got this giant train that travels around the track trying to get in your way. And just in general, this is a very pleasant course to drive through and the relaxing music music in the background gives the track a very unique feel that I really like. Now, because of how simple the track is, I can't really put it much higher than 9th place, but this is still a perfectly good track, and it's definitely a lot more memorable than Dry Dry Desert from the GameCube. At number 8, we have N64 Calamari Desert from Mario Kart 7. It's the exact same track I just talked about, but now it's on the 3DS. Because of that, the graphics are given more polish and there's more details across the course. Aside from the visuals, there's also some ramps scattered around for you to trick off of, including a couple gliding ramps thrown into the sand that you can fly off of if you have a mushroom. Other than that, it's still the same relaxing course as before, and that's okay. I do think more could have been done to spice it up, but it's still fun. At number 7, we have GCN Dry Dry Desert from Mario Kart 8. While I'm still not the biggest fan of this track, it is so much better than its original counterpart. The graphics obviously are fantastic, and there is so much more detail poured into every part of the course. The track design is pretty much the exact same, and you've still got the same hazards like the pokies and the giant sinkhole. Although, they got rid of the big tornado spinning around the track for some reason, but it's not a big deal. The biggest change to the course is that the final section of the track has been turned into this oasis area, and you can trick off the geysers coming from the ground. I'm really glad they added this because it brings some life to an otherwise dull course. Again, it's not bad, it's just not the greatest.
At number 6, we have Sunset Wilds from Mario Kart Super Circuit. This is definitely one of the more memorable tracks from the Game Boy Advance. The course still takes place in the desert, but it goes for a more mountain-like environment, which looks really cool. Once again, the flatness of the track does kind of hinder my enjoyment, but there's actually quite a few different things at play to make it stand out. There's a bunch of mud on the ground to slow you down, but there's also speed boosts across the road for you to speed up as well. There's also this long stretch of speed boosts with shy guys all around them, and running into one will cause a shy guy to laugh onto you and steal your coins. Another cool thing is that after each lap, the sun slowly goes down and the track becomes darker. It may be just a visual thing, but it's still neat nonetheless. Some of you might argue that I'm placing this track too high, but I think it's pretty fun and actually better than the tracks I've listed so far. At number 5, we have Desert Hills from Mario Kart DS, a surprisingly memorable desert track that is actually pretty cool. At first glance, yeah, this might seem like a pretty generic looking course, but there's actually quite a bit of variety thrown in to make it unique. As the name suggests, this track takes place on hills, so the road is very wavy and there's bumps on the track to jump off of. As for hazards, you've got some more pokies wandering around that you have to avoid, and this track also brings back the angry sun from Super Mario Bros. 3, but instead of swooping down from the sky to try to attack you, it drops giant fireballs that try to burn you to a crisp, further signifying that we are stuck in the middle of the desert on an extra hot day. I'm not sure what it is, but I like this track a lot. It's nothing fancy, but it has just the right amount of depth to keep me engaged for the entire race. My only issue is that these steep hills can be a bit annoying, but this track is still fun. At number 4, we have DS Desert Hills from Mario Kart Wii. As you might expect, this track is pretty much exactly the same as the original. The graphics have a little more polished, which makes sense because it's on the Wii. The hills are not as steep as before, which I actually like since it makes racing on them a little more manageable, and you can also trick off a bump or two thanks to the new trick system this game introduced. And yeah, that's pretty much all the notable changes made to this track. There wasn't a whole lot that needed to be changed, so I can still have fun when racing here, but this doesn't even compare to to what's coming up. At number 3, we have Dry Dry Ruins from Mario Kart Wii. This is another surprisingly memorable desert track, except this one is so much cooler than Desert Hills. You still have your usual wavy sand road and a pokey or two going about their day, but you've also got some giant pillars falling on the side for you to trick off of as the race goes on. You also go inside this giant temple with swoops flying around and a half pipe to jump off of to get some sweet airtime. You then head into this section with even more pokies and a giant area that fills up with sand as each lap goes on. And finally, you shoot back outside and drive past another Yoshi Sphinx and back to the finish. Also, even though this isn't first, this track by far has the best music of anything on this list. I mean seriously, it has no right to be as catchy as it is. This is the first truly great track on this list and it's honestly really fun, but we still have two more to go. At number 2, we have Shy Guy Bazaar from Mario Kart 7, the only track on this list to be completely featured at night, and it's a really fun one. It starts off in a brief section in the desert, but then you head into this really cool marketplace, and there's even a few side paths you can take for a little extra speed. You then drive through a few winding paths with some green pottery waddling around, and after that, you speed off these ramps and on top of the buildings, only to find yourself gliding towards the ending with Shy Guys flying around on magic carpets, and you can even collect a few coins before you finally reach the finish line. And again, Again, this is just a visual thing, but I love that the track takes place at night. It makes the course feel more distinct, and the buildings and decorations almost make it feel like it's from Aladdin. This is one of the very few memorable courses from Mario Kart 7. It's nothing too crazy, but it's really fun to race through. But with all that said, let's move on to number one. And at number 1, we have Bone Dry Dunes from Mario Kart 8. While not the best track from Mario Kart 8, it's still the best desert track in my opinion. This course easily looks the best out of anything on this list, with the more realistic graphics, the people cheering you on on the sidelines, and having it take place at sunset. It just looks gorgeous. This track also does a few different things to stand out among the rest of the desert tracks. There's a lot more splitting paths than usual, with one of them featuring anti-gravity over some giant bones. There's also more shortcuts than usual and ways for you to go faster 
and even the little things like the piranha plants being made out of bone, the giant ship that cruises around the ocean of sand, and the giant cave you drive through being shaped like dry bowser are just details that make this course stand out in a really awesome way. I'm not sure why people seem to not like this track. It's extremely fun and is, in my opinion, the best desert track in all of Mario Kart. Thank you guys so much for watching my latest ranking video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you'll know when I post more videos like this. Also, thanks again to Sire Jones for sending in this idea for a video, and if you want a chance for your Mario Kart idea to become a reality, then comment your ideas down below so I might be able to turn it into a real video. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.